Hello and welcome to the first in our series of Zexcoil 101 seminars. Today we'll be talking about frequency response and pickup design and we'll be showing you a little bit about how we measure and characterize pickups and how we use that information to make Zexcoil pickups that are targeted at some of your favorite conventional pickup tones. But first we'd like to tell you a little bit about our pickups themselves. Zexcoil pickups incorporate an innovative one coil per string design that yields noise free hum canceling performance without compromising any of the tone that you expect from a conventional single coil or even humbucking pickup. Coupled with our patented design platform, we have a proprietary and patent pending design and modeling technology that allows us to predict and target tones across the spectrum. In this presentation, We'll tell you a little bit about how we use our technology to achieve these outstanding tones and then how you can compare the tones of our pickups to the conventional benchmarks. Before we get started though, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Scott Loing, the inventor and designer of Zexcoil pickups. I have a PhD in chemical engineering from MIT and I have over 20 years of professional experience in a number of technical industries. Most recently I was in the semiconductor industry for almost 13 years working for Motorola as well as the Roman Haas and Dow chemical companies. I worked in a cutting edge technology called chemical mechanical polishing where I established myself as an expert in the field with over 40 conference presentations and papers. I'm an inventor on eight US patents two of which are for electric guitar pickups, and I have multiple additional patents pending. I've been playing guitar for about 35 years, and about four and a half years ago, I started playing around with one coil per string pickup designs in an effort to make a better noiseless pickup. I've gone through a lot of prototypes and design iterations, including more than a couple of dead ends, and I've learned a lot about how to design pickups and the basic physics behind what makes a particular pickup sound like it does. What I'm going to show you today represents the fruits of some of that labor. We'd like to point out that some of the information and data in this presentation represent patent pending methods and materials. The viewer is cautioned not to use this information for commercial purposes. In this short film, we'll be showing you how we measure pickup frequency response. You're looking at the control screen associated with our digital oscilloscope. At the upper right, you see the display of gain on the Y or vertical axis versus frequency on the X or horizontal axis. This is where you will see the frequency response develop as the measurement progresses. At the bottom middle of the screen you can see the input signal in red which is a sine wave voltage fed to the pickup. Notice that the amplitude or peak to peak voltage level of the input signal does not change throughout the measurement. The output signal is shown in the same inset screen in blue. Notice that at this point in the scan corresponding to a frequency of about 800 Hertz. The amplitude of the output signal is very low relative to the input and that the gain is correspondingly low only about minus 35 dB. You'll notice that the gain increases corresponding to the increase in the output signal amplitude relative to the input signal as the frequency of the input signal is increased until the gain reaches a maximum. The maximum gain as a function of frequency represents the resonant frequency of the pickup. You'll also notice that the output amplitude is nearly equal to the input amplitude, but not quite, and also that the gain is nearly 0 dB at resonance. Physically, this means that at the resonant frequency, the pickup is allowing most of the signal to pass. As we continue the frequency sweep at frequencies above resonance, the gain decreases corresponding to the decrease in the amplitude of the output signal. So the pickup can be thought of as a frequency filter and the passage of frequencies is maximized at the resonant frequency. The frequencies represented as the blue area under the curve are allowed to pass at the level represented by the Y scale and the frequencies represented as the red areas outside the curve are filtered out also at the level represented by the Y scale. So if we can understand and predict the frequency behavior of the pickup we can in effect engineer and tune the behavior of the pickup as a frequency filter. This is how we approach pickup design and tone engineering. As a first example we'll look at two conventional pickups that represent some practical extremes of conventional pickup response. In blue we have the frequency response of a typical Strat single coil and in red we have the frequency response of a typical PAF style humbucker. 
The Strat style pickup exhibits a narrower response with a sharper peak and a relatively high resonant frequency of about 9000 Hz. The PAF style pickup exhibits a fatter and more attenuated response with a flatter, rounder peak and a relatively lower resonant frequency of about 5000 Hz. Obviously, the performance of a pickup will be influenced by parameters such as the resonant frequency, the resistance, and the inductance, but one factor that we have found to be extremely important in defining the character of the tone is the shape of the response. It's interesting to note that adjectives that describe the shape of the gain frequency envelope are also good descriptors of the tone of the pickup. For instance, strat style single coils can be described as sharp or thin, and PAF style humbuckers can be described as fatter and rounder in comparison. Here we can see the response of a wide range of conventional pickups and that even within the same type of pickup and even different flavors of the same model, significant differences in resonant frequency can be observed. Strut style pickups tend to cluster together with a sharper, more peaked frequency response. PAF style pickups tend towards lower resonant frequencies and exhibit a softer, rounder, more attenuated frequency response. The Texas Special Bridge pickup with more windings and correspondingly higher DC resistance compared to the middle pickup exhibits a shift towards lower resonant frequency. Based on our understanding and fingerprinting of the response of conventional pickups, we can use our predictive modeling and measurement technology to target a range of frequency response behaviors to design Zexcoil pickups that evoke conventional pickup tones. In this example, pickups were constructed using designs identified through our basic measurements and models to exhibit a range of frequency response that is analogous to the range of the Alnico alloys, and actually a bit wider. Note that the four prototypes illustrated here exhibit frequency responses that naturally overlap, but there are clear differences in the frequency response in the vicinity of resonance. Also note the tight range of electrical specifications of these four pickups. The inset shown on this slide is not to scale, but is an expanded view of the data around the resonant frequency and provided to enable a better look at the relative peak shapes. We will use this format throughout this presentation. We use this capability to develop finely tuned products, and out of this exercise, the Strat 1 prototype evolved into the Vintage Single 5 as it exhibits a tonal signature similar to Alnico 5, and the Strat 3 prototype evolved into the Vintage Single 2 as it exhibits a tonal signature similar to Alnico 2. This example illustrates a degree of tunability and control that is not possible with conventional pickup designs and materials. This exquisite level of control allows us to break the traditional boundaries and go beyond Alnico. Beyond Alnico. Beyond Alnico. Beyond Alnico. Beyond Alnico. When we compare Zexcoil Vintage Series Strat replacement pickups to conventional pickups, we can see that they exhibit significantly higher resonant frequencies as shown at left. On the right, we have the same data plotted on a normalized frequency basis. The normalization is done with respect to resonant frequency such that the normalized frequency equals the measured frequency divided by the resonant frequency for each respective data set. This results in all of the resonances lining up at a value of 1 and allows for a more direct comparison of the data sets. We can see that on a normalized basis, the Zexcoil Vintage Single 5 pickup in green looks very similar to a conventional vintage design Alnico 5 pickup in purple. Of course, although we don't show it here, the Vintage Single 2 is designed to be very similar to a conventional vintage design Alnico 2 pickup. The state-of-the-art noiseless pickup, shown here in red, exhibits a significantly attenuated frequency response by comparison. Note that the gain response of this pickup is stunted compared to the conventional pickup and the Zexcoil pickups, and the peak is much more rounded. This type of attenuation contributes to the tonal compromise of all dummy coil based hum canceling pickups. The dummy coil acts like a redundant load in the pickup circuit, and while these effects can be minimized, as they in fact are in the state of the art example we show here, they can never be eliminated. In this example, in order to give you more of a feel for the effect of this type of frequency response attenuation, we look at the effect of tone pot loading. Loading a pickup with tone pots acts to attenuate the frequency response in much the same manner as the dummy coil attenuates the response of the noiseless pickup. You can see that as we load the pickup with more pots of lower resistance, the attenuation is increased. This attenuation of the frequency response is what causes the darkening of tone associated with loading pickups with tone pots. The directional response of the noiseless pickup illustrated in the previous slides can be thought of analogously to the effect of tone pot loading. 
Zex coil pickups do not utilize any dummy coils or redundant circuit elements to cancel noise and so signal attenuation is virtually eliminated and Zex coil pickups maintain a robust frequency response more like the unloaded pickup in this example. Every part of the pickup is working for you to collect pure noise free tonal goodness. Here we see the full range of frequency response exhibited by the Zex coil pickup product line. Zex coil strat replacements cover a wide range of frequency and tonal response from the glassy and transparent to the full and fat. Zex coil pickups tend to higher resonant frequency and more robust gain, but with a similar qualitative response to conventional pickups. The range of response in the Zex coil pickup product line is analogous to the full range of response between conventional single coils and humbuckers. While the range of Zex coil single models exhibits a similar qualitative frequency response compared to the conventional Strat style single coils, note that the resonant frequency of the Zex coil single model straddles the value of 10,000 Hz. While every conventional Strat style single coil we've had the opportunity to measure to date falls below the 10,000 Hz threshold. Similarly, Zex coil bucker pickups, while maintaining a conventional Strat style form factor, exhibit characteristics similar to conventional PAF style pickups, but with generally higher resonant frequencies and more robust gain response. These enhanced frequency response characteristics contribute to the open, full, and rich tone that you'll enjoy with Zex coil pickups. The Zex coil pickup platform incorporates one dedicated coil for each individual string. Typical pickups only incorporate one or two coils for the entire pickup. This allows for hum canceling performance with no dummy coils or redundant circuit elements, and that each coil's magnetic and winding polarity can be configured independently and we can achieve noise-free performance in the most efficient manner possible. Ultimate string-to-string -string balance and design flexibility and that the output and tonal character can be configured individually for each string. And the one coil per string design also lends an inherent clarity and articulation that is unique to Zex coil and that each string is being sensed much more discreetly than in a conventional pickup. The patented Zex coil design platform is not limited to strat size pickups. We can apply our design concepts and tone modeling technology to virtually any type of instrument or form factor. Tele models are in development and P90 models are planned soon. We're also thinking about bass pickups, polyphonic applications, and any number of other designs, so stay tuned. Finally, we'd like to give you a demo of the noise rejection capability of Zex coil pickups. The following clip is of seven different pickups played through the same amp at exactly the same settings. These were all recorded in the same session and no relative levels were changed during the mix down. To get these noise levels, we stood in exactly the same very noisy spot in our shop and rotated back and forth through about 90 degrees. The Zex coil pickups exhibit noise levels as good or better than any of the industry leading noiseless pickup designs. Okay, thanks for checking us out. We're very impressed that you were able to stick it out for this much pickup technology. We hope you learned something about our pickups and about pickups in general, and please make sure to visit us at www.zexcoil.com.